Good hunting, stalker. Hello, survivors, and welcome to We Who Survived. My name is James, and today we're going to be starting episode one of Fallout Lost World 2.0. So this is a Wabajack mod pack designed by Screaming Lake, who I would like to thank very much for the upcoming experience. Uh, it's more or less vanilla story-wise, um, but basically every other aspect has been changed to be as stalker-like as possible. Uh, and even the story, they added the silent protagonist mod and a few other things that make it a little less Fallout and a little more Stalker. So I'm very excited to try it out. Um, I do want to see everything this has to offer though. So we're definitely not doing permadeath, especially my first go through. Um, maybe I'm thinking what we'll do is I'll, I mean, I'm going to save regardless in case of crashes, especially this list. It's like 300 mods almost. But I'm thinking what we'll do is I will only use settlement saves. So in other words, I can reload when I die from any save at any settlement. So wherever I last was, um, that should give me a good opportunity to have a semi-decent save point. And then also give me a good reason to not want to die because you got to backtrack and redo whatever you did from the settlement. So I think that's how we're going to do it. We're going to do settlement saves only for reloads more or less. Um, we may be a little forgiving on that rule here at the beginning of the game and maybe towards the end because uh, I really just want to get the Concord and Sanctuary stuff over. So, all right, with all that talking out of the way, I did use a random generator, boy or girl, we got a boy, and I also used a random name generator, which gave us Heyman LaCroix. So that's what we're going to roll with, and I will show you the special when we get there. Okay, standard so far, so let me design our dude. I have no idea what this is going to be. A Heyman? I, I saw they had a bunch of customization options on here, like modded in, so I might do something crazy. I have no idea. Oh, dude, they got some crazy stuff. Hold on. What is all this, dude? Demon? We could go demon mode. That seems a little silly, but I bet you they have a bunch of cool stuff we could add on top of that. Thank you. I was hoping you would notice that. Uh, yeah, like, let's look at our eyes. I bet you they have crazy stuff. Oh, dude, Vampire Surreal Blood Glow? Tell me that's not a demon eye. Ooh, or we could go with the bright, like, piercing. I think the bright piercing eyes are, like, creepier in general, so we're gonna go with that. I guess we're just totally having fun with this one. Alright, here's our absolutely ridiculous dude, and since he's like a supernatural demon, we're just gonna make him as buff as possible, dude. Just gonna be out here tossing bodies. Not gonna actually be very strong, but that's okay. Alright, cool. So that is Heyman LaCroix. What a looker. Am I right, folks? Heyman LaCroix. Somebody probably really has that name. Oh, gosh. Alright, so the thought behind the special here... We're hitting these for some minimum things that we will want. Can't even remember what they are off the top of my head. Charisma 6 uh, is to push us towards a higher charisma ultimately. I think that may actually... How did I do this? 5, 7. Okay, so that's how we're going to do this. So charisma is to work towards um, Wasteland Whisper for creatures. And then also this has Intimidate. So theoretically we'll be able to back off uh, human enemies that are under our level as we level up. Uh, Intelligence 5 gets us to Gun Nut, which I have a feeling may wind up rather crucial here. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, and then the Agility 7 is for Sneak and the Ninja Sneak Perk um, because I want to be quiet. So if you can't tell, I want to be able to pacify things and or get right past them and kill them with a sneak attack. So I think that's how we're going to run this. I'm not very familiar with Stalker, but you can pretty much never go wrong with stealth, I imagine. Okay. 
Okay, here is the beginning. Um, I do have to wait for a bunch of mod stuff. I mean, I have to do some mod stuff too. If you want to know what this is, you should really just watch the getting ready video that um, Screaming Lake has. No way. Oh, okay, so that's for the backpack mod, I assume. I want to default that, however they have it. Don't know if I'm supposed to wait till NPC's travel is up before I apply my MCM settings, but I are just going to do it. I think this is with the EMB. Um, but yeah, we got to walk around the platform for a second and get sort of out of the spawn zone. There we go. Okay, so now NPC's travel has started. I don't think we... I don't even think... Does NPC's travel? Oh, it does. Okay, well, just in case, I'm going to apply the settings one more time then. Yep. Applied 13 settings. Okay. And now... As usual, we'll be playing at time scale 10. I usually do between 10 and 12. Okay, I think we're good. It's hard to tell when the EMB is on this one. Um, but yeah, I think we're good. So, welcome to Fallout Lost World 2.0, which is a Fallout 4 experience. So, I've got some stuff here. I've got a favorite. I don't think we have a weapon wheel. I could be wrong. Um, we're only going to need this during particularly hazardous weather conditions. Okay, they give us some stim packs and a purified water to start. So, that's not bad at all. All right, and then we got 46 10 mil rounds to our name. So it looks like that's about what we got. Holy cow, look at my hands, dude. Look at my hands. Okay, yeah, that's definitely the EMB. All right, so over here we have the eco workbench. And it's various settings. Um, this is more or less a universal workbench. Uh, drop it. Yay, so there it is. And, uh, yeah, armor, weapons, ammo station, chem station, cooking stove, junk station. What's a junk station? What's that mean? Oh, it looks like you can turn your junk into better or more consolidated junk. That's pretty cool. All right, well, we're going to pick that back up because we don't need it quite yet. Uh, so we need to do the initial exploration of our area, find whatever we can, and then make it to sanctuary and see what awaits for us there. I'm really... Not 100% sure. I have done a couple run-throughs, but the trouble is, it's random. I've had zombies, I've had, like, demon tigers, I've had, I've had all kinds of stuff pop up. So, you never know what you're gonna get. But, rather beautiful, though. I gotta admit, I do like the look of this. Don't think we need wood to cook in this. I could be wrong. Um... I'm pretty sure we don't need wood to cook. Oh, stink bug. Boulder. Okay, so not a whole lot in our immediate area to help us, um, but that's okay. They actually start us with a melee weapon that's not half bad, and they start us with a gun and ammo, so... Not a whole lot else I could ask for, I would say. Okay, well, let's uh, let's get to Sanctuary. And you can't take the traditional path. It's got all this mustard gas on it. Whatever the hell this stuff is. I mean, these are just beavers, right? They're chilling. Yeah, they're chilling. All right, welcome to Sanctuary in Lost World 2.0. Let's uh, hope nothing funky comes out and kills us right away. We'll see if we can get Codsworth to help us sweep the neighborhood. I've had mixed results with that. Oh, it looks like we got zombies this time. Okay. Zombies aren't the worst. They're annoying, and you can potentially waste a lot of ammo missing your headshots, but they're not the worst.
Not even bad. Not bad at all. Is that just... Dang, son, look at us. We already cracking levels, boy. Level two. Okay. Um, what's the first thing we should take? Um, probably technically sneak. Can we take... We can take ninja already, but... We need sneak first, so... We're gonna take that. Very nice. Drop a save. This is a settlement save, so I can load any settlement save I want at any point. That's no problem. Novice locked. Wonder why my HUD's off like that. I noticed that the first time I was going through, I thought my whole game was broke, but it, it's not. Another zombie down here. Let's clear this dude real quick. Although this should now mean it's actually zombies in all the houses, which makes it not so bad. The demon tigers were particularly bad. You'll see what I mean about those at some point. Demon tigers. It's, it's exactly what it sounds like. Alright. Oh, I thought we were going to gain another level already. I mean, we haven't, but we're already so close. Are the grenades up here? If the grenades are still here, that's lit. Oh, dude. Mm, and then we got some... Oh, another zombie. Yo, why do zombies walk so loud? That's so creepy. It always sounds like they're right freaking next to you, dude. Oh, bro, we are going to get levels on levels. If these things are really popping this much experience. All right, we're going right to Ninja. All right, we are already a semi-lethal force. Few zombies down. I think there's more though because I think they replace all the spawns. And there's isn't there more than one rad roach in here? Okay, apparently not. Military grade cartridges. So much like in Stalker, that's gonna be our cash instead of bottle caps. Uh yeah, I don't have control of the settlement yet. Gotta go hit the workbench, talk to Codsworth, and we gotta get this thing rolling. Dude, it constantly sounds like there's someone walking behind you. Alright, so now that we've got Sanctuary in our grasp, actually, you know what, even before we talk to Codsworth, I'm bringing the freaking cooking station over here. I should probably grab the chem station too, but we could probably just use the eco workbench. I don't know if I can cook on the eco workbench, but I like my dang cooking station, dude. Alright, so one of the big changes with uh, Lost World, and I think specifically Lost World 2.0, is you actually cannot scrap a lot of what's in your settlement. And they did this to sort of make you work for it, so you have to go get real stuff. Um, the big downside here is you got a lot of stuff like this that you just can't get rid of. Um, you're supposed to live in the world as it is, more than build into it, is sort of the idea like in Stalker. Um, but yeah, it does definitely limit your settlement capabilities, which is unfortunate. As I live and breathe, oh, it's, it's really you. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, I can't really get into this, it's just the same as always, except we didn't even get, like, a proper vault entrance, so... As far as I know, if I didn't already know the story, I'd be walking up and he'd be asking me about my wife and kids that I have no idea about. So, yeah, it's a little hard to get into it here. Um, Things will be but, yeah. So, I'm just going to see if I can get him to help me clear the place. The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. Yes, let's do that. Um, have you seen anything no, dangerous? the usual, sir. Pesky neighborhood dogs. And mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? Yes. You... You mean to say that... What about Concord, sir? Dang it, dude. I don't think we're gonna get him to help. Yeah, he's not gonna help. I've had, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that interaction to get him to come help, but I've had him come help me a few times. This is apparently not one of those times. Um, your special, I think we're going to put that into Charisma, because I've got Charisma 6. 7 is Cap Collector. 
which is traitor basically uh, and then we don't get intimidation until charisma eight which we actually need to raise your charisma in lost world or any skill you need to also be the level of that i don't know i don't think it was like that in fallout 4 vanilla right but yeah so anyway i think we're gonna throw that into charisma gets us a decent perk in the meantime if we want to take it and then gets us one step closer towards our intimidation and now i think we have to go clear zombies on our own because this stupid dude i love you codsworth there come on all right dude i'll go kill at least the zombies the demon tigers were a little rough but i think i can handle the zombies on my own the demon tigers were definitely rough though it's more so that I don't want to waste all my ammo. But let's deal with some Zambers. Let's do it. What? That was a headshot. didn't have a bandage to stop the bleed i forgot maim is a thing in this so there's um heavy injuries heavy heavy injuries okay i think i have to do that again maybe this time i can get him to help me okay we are gonna try again so apparently you cannot get hit by these zombies at all because especially now when i have no bandage to stop the injury if you get hit by one... Okay. Alright. We have learned how to fight zombies. It was a bit ugly. I don't know if I'm cutting that or not. But we got another level out of it. So that's good. Dude, are we about to get... Okay, I was going to say, if we get another level on top, that's crazy. Um, I don't know if this is just in the beginning of the game or if levels are going to keep flying like this, but this is sort of ridiculous. I didn't even think this far into what I want already. Um, we probably should do Cap Collector, to be honest, just early game to get it over with I'm thinking do we have channel of spirit okay we could do pistol proficiency which would be really nice uh, actually thievery wouldn't be bad to take either I've never done anything like that but slower while standing still mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of that I like acrobatics. It's only a 7% the first rank, but that is already looking like something that could prove super useful. Oh, look at this. Gain double XP from discovering locations and walk 7% faster with your weapon holstered. Okay, I think we're going to take Explore. That is definitely a good, good early game perk. Alright, so I think we're nearly wrapping up episode 1 here. We do still have to go do Concord. Um, we've got a little bit of Sanctuary left to clear out though, so we could also go check down there in the basement, see what we get in Lost World. Let's go do that real quick. Let's go check the Root Cellar and see what it has to offer. Ah, okay. Whoa, stalker backpack? For real? Just right there like that? It probably sucks then, huh? Oh, that's not bad at all. It adds 20 pounds for two weight? That's sort of nutty. Alright. That's awesome. 
few purified waters. Um, we'll take the blow torches up top. Okay, gold bars are still here, so that's good. Uh, we don't need the book. Purified water. Dang, man. I was really hoping for, like, a bandage. A bandage would have been super sweet. Okay. All right. Let's go check up top, and then we'll go try to clear out the rest of these zambers real quick. Um, this is already vastly different than vanilla. Like, in a certain sense, it's not, because everything's relatively the same. But as you can tell, this is obviously playing a lot different than vanilla Fallout 4, specifically in the intensity factor. Everything that would be a rad roach is now not, and it's something much deadlier. And these zombies aren't even bad. Like, what we're seeing right now, this is some of the lightest enemies I've seen. Um, there's some pretty deadly stuff in this game. So there should be the standard zombies up here still. And then once we take out these dudes, we should be all good on the sanctuary clearance front. Where y'all at? Oh, there we go. That dude got close. Holy crap. All right, not bad though. These were light work zombies. We barely got any experience from them compared to the other ones. Uh, I'm grabbing all this junk as I go since we can't scrap most of it. That does seem wise. I'm not sure the efficiency of taking local leader. Like there's not gonna be a whole lot we can actually build and do, I don't think. Um, but since I am gonna be saving at settlements, it probably wouldn't hurt to explore that a little bit. Um, see what we can get out of settlements in Lost World. I would like that because I'm a settlement builder at heart and I've not gotten to do anything basically because of Fallout Frost and how more or less anti-settlement it is. Take our gold bars back. Take our military grade cartridges back. I think everything else is pretty much good to sit in here. We do need some bottles actually. We have to get some water. Um, so we actually need another bottle too. Do we have a baby bottle? No, we don't. Okay, so we'll have to find some bottles, but that's not a big deal. Uh, we gotta go do Concord, so we will go do that. And I think that'll be episode two. So that's gonna be the wrap up for episode one, Lost World. Uh, we got our nice introduction to the world. We got Sanctuary under, uh, under our control now. That should be entirely cleared out. And then we're gonna cross the Bay Ridge. Wow, Bay Ridge. We're gonna cross the bridge. Uh, we'll check out the Red Rocket. Hopefully pick up our dog, dog meat. And then after that, we'll get our move to Concord. We'll grab Garvey and the rest of the crew and we'll head back up and finally get the game really started. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this first episode as utilitarian as it has been. Um, it was good to get a little taste of the combat because it's no joke and maim is going to give us severe injuries so that is good to note and play around now uh yeah so thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed episode one and i will catch you in episode two